Okay, so we have this example. So we need to find the second derivative of the function x cubed minus 5x squared plus x equal to 0. So we'll just first have our solution. Okay, so solution. Okay, so we have, let's just say our f of x is equal to x cubed minus 5x squared plus x okay so we will first get our first derivative so this will be equal to 3x squared minus 10x then our second derivative so this will be equal to so we'll derive our first derivative we'll get the derivative of our first derivative in order for us to get our second derivative so this will be equal to 6x minus 10 okay so we have here plus 1 so but this will not just be important because this will be equal now to 0 plus 0 so our final answer will be 6x minus 10 okay so this will now be our answer that is now our second derivative for this function. Okay, another example. We have find the derivative with respect to x of the function 2 cosine squared x plus 2. Okay. So, we have our solution. So our this uh, problem will be involving um, will be involving power formula or u to the n. So we just first have that one as our f of x is equal to two cosine squared. Okay, so we have x plus two. So our formula we're using here is d u to the n dx is equal to n u to the r n minus 1 du dx okay so our our u here is cosine x plus 2 okay so our u is cosine x plus 2 which is raised to the power of 2. So our f prime of x or our first derivative is equal to 2. Then the n, the n is 2 so times 2. Then our u is uh, cosine squared so cosine x plus 2 so this that is squared so that will be 2 minus 1 then the, derivat the derivative of our u which is um, let's just put here parenthesis so that we will not have a confusion this is our u the derivative of that one is negative sine and the derivative of x is 1 so x plus 2 the derivative of x is 1 so times 1 so this is for the derivative of the function inside our u Okay, so we have 4 cosine, so this is minus, so we call sine, x plus 2, so let's have that one in a, times negative sine x plus 2. So our final answer will now become negative 4 cosine x plus 2 sine times sine x plus 2 and this will be our answer okay
so thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned something and as always keep on studying